I met Rashid around 2005 when um, he joined a class that I run, uh, I ran called Fast Track. Uh, I used to work at a place called the Council for Entrepreneurial Development here in North Carolina. And it was a class for entrepreneurs and uh, we hit it off very quickly. I mean, he's just such a great guy. And um, we both went to Duke, so both were Duke alums and you know, we were kind of surrounded by a bunch of people who went to other schools in North Carolina. And uh, yeah, I mean, he just was, uh, uh, we got to know each other really well. It was a 10 week course. He ended up winning the pitch competition at the end of that event where um, all of the students in the class pitched their startup ideas and uh, he pitched his idea and, and ended up taking first place. Yeah, I mean, he's just the kind of person that just kept on coming back to entrepreneurship. I mean, he loved entrepreneurship. And uh, one of the things that uh, sticks out to me is I think he participated in the Duke Startup Challenge more times than any other person has participated in the Duke Startup Challenge. Uh, I can think of a few ideas off the top of my head. One of them was uh, fitness education, which was back when the Nintendo Wii was really popular and you would uh, kind of uh, do some boxing and then you would answer math problems and uh, it helped kids that were really active to kind of expend energy and still, uh, still learn. Another one of his ideas was called Collared Up, which was uh, a piece of fabric to uh, uh, put on your collar because a ring around the collar is, is a, a pain in the neck. Uh, I think that was the tagline. So the idea for the Rashid Wiggins Entrepreneurial Prize um, came to me at his memorial service here in Durham and um, I mean I was just in the audience and I was just really, <coughs> I was just really moved by what everybody was saying about Rashid and um, I just thought to myself like, you know, is there something that I can do uh, on behalf of my own friendship with him and on behalf of Duke University to to um, to honor him, and so uh, because I have been um, running the Duke Startup Challenge for a number of years, I just uh, I just thought it would be appropriate to um, honor the person that has competed in in more startup challenges than anybody else. So the prize just came to me. Um, I wasn't even I wasn't scheduled to speak uh, at the memorial, but uh, there was kind of uh, an an open microphone time uh, after the the uh, remarks at the memorial and so I just went on stage and I um, <laughs> and I yeah uh, and so I just mentioned the idea and then um, people started clapping and um, and then Kimberly and I got together and said you know let's talk more about this and so I'm really happy that it's come together so most entrepreneurs um, need a lot of help, whether that's in the form of mentorship or advice or a cheerleader or somebody to provide a little bit of money, things like that. And so sometimes a little bit of encouragement um, is, is kind of what you need when you're starting out. And so this prize is meant to, to uh, encourage people that, like Rashid, were just really excited about entrepreneurship and to help them make it further on the path because you know with entrepreneurship it's it's really easy to to go back to your default of not doing entrepreneurship because if you want to make money in this world it's generally easier to just get a job to make money than start a company and uh, and you know and so entrepreneurs are kind of people who are going against the flow and therefore um, offering encouragement like this prize can help. Uh, I've known Rashid for 10 years and um, I'm glad that uh, I was able to call him my friend and, and I was glad that I was able to work with him on his startups and um, I really hope that this prize honors uh, Rashid and honors his spirit and who he was and will leave a legacy for other entrepreneurs like him to um, to continue to think about entrepreneurship and, and to go for it. 
three things come to mind when I think of my husband. Uh, I think integrity, I think leadership, and I think creativity. And literally, all three of those characteristics, those attributes, bled into every part of his life. He led just by being himself. He literally made every decision based on being an honorable man, full of integrity. He didn't even have to think about it though. It was all about doing the right thing, doing the thing that would help others. If someone needed extra five minutes of his time or if he had to go out of his way to help someone, he did that. Even if it meant we had to change our schedule or switch a date night or, or whatever. And creative doesn't even begin to describe how this man's mind worked. Rashid knew how to light up the room without even trying. He was just full of light, full of life. There's never, ever going to be anyone like him. But hopefully this prize finds a way to honor those few people who have a few of those attributes that he did. Rashida Mean Wiggins is an entrepreneur through and through, to his very core. It was the thing that gave him light, which in turn allowed him to give so much light to everyone else around him. He was an amazing individual, and this prize sets out to honor that light in him. I am honored that I got to spend so much of my life and his together. Uh, he proved to me that true love does exist. He proved to me that there are strong, intelligent, amazing, loving men in this world. He proved to me that dreams do come true. Rashid Wiggins was a great man, and he was also a really, really good friend of mine. Rashid and I co-founded an ad tech venture and we ran it successfully for a number of years. And one of the things that I, that I can say about Rashid that I learned um, in working with him was his drive and zeal and, and, and passion for entrepreneurship. He really believed in being an entrepreneur. Every detail connected to being an entrepreneur from the sacrifice to burning the midnight oil and then waking up sometimes not even sleeping at all, um, just doing whatever it took to get his idea in motion and turning that into something that, that was successful and, and actually producing something, that's what Rashid was all about. He was about inspiring others to do that, um, inspiring others to go off and start their own thing, um, inspiring others to just be the best at whatever they believed they were. Uh, Rashid was one of a kind, and I think when, when he passed, really the first thing that came to my mind was um, what can be done to transfer this, this, this energy and this, this, this excitement and enthusiasm for creation into the world somehow. He, he, was, he was bigger than life and, and everyone knew it was Rashid when he walked into the room and uh, you know and everyone knew that he was an entrepreneur and he had a million things going and he was gonna make them all work. So this prize that has been developed in his name is really designed to foster and, and identify those individuals that think and act and, and actually even behave in, in the same way that Rashid did. Uh, we knew him very well. So we're gonna be able to identify pretty quickly the, the companies that are really about um, truly creating something that, that's valuable in the marketplace. We're gonna be excited to 
give this prize to the individual that embodies what Rashid was all about. This is the least we can do to remember um, and to uh, commemorate such an astounding ind individual, uh, husband, fraternity brother, friend, brother. I'm super excited and proud and honored to be part of giving away this, this, this amazing prize. We don't think it's something that's going to be a one-shot deal. We want this to continue to grow and we want to make a bigger and bigger impact as the years go on.